I'm here with Sally Bear from BB Needlepoint Designs. I was just looking at this model and admiring the background stitch. She said it's called the the helicopter stitch because it's a you know almost like the wings with the straight stitches, which I have done okay. in, in a six ply silk, and then there's little crosses on the top of it, like the rotary blade. I that's my interpretation. Yeah. But I found it in. Um, I think a June McKnight book or for backgrounds and it was just it's just a nice subtle background mm -hmm. stitch but gives you a little bit of sparkle and a nice even coverage because you don't always want your backgrounds to pop out at you right. especially with a design like this you want everything else to pop out right um, it's and, really pretty uh, and it looks like it would go fast it's a six ply for the straight stitch, and then looks like a Krynik, maybe number eight braid or number four um, braid? No, it was a number four. Number four braid. Yep, number four braid, just light for coverage. Number right. eight gets a, gets a little too thick for this, for, for this me. One. Right. For me, because I wanted a lighter coverage. But yeah, it goes very quickly, because a lot of people do backgrounds first, some do them last. Mm -hmm. I tend to do them last um, or work them a little bit at a time, because they're, they're a little more soothing. Oh, right. Yeah. I get that. Me, I, yeah. That makes it's sense. It's like, okay, you can just not... I think the hard stuff is coming up with all the other stuff in the design, and then at the end it's like, okay, let's just... Yeah. Uh, a little zone out, you know, in front of the, right. a movie or something, and you just kind of go right on through. Yeah, it totally makes sense. I love it. Yes. Yeah. You're welcome.